range of motion, but we don't want it to get re-bruised. If we have multiple bruises, what is it a risk of? <coughs> Not just that one. I think you said it. Myositis ossificans, where you can tear the periosteum off the, off the bone, and the bone cal calcification can start happening in the muscle. So we always want to make sure that if we're going to send a player with a contusion back into play in a contact sport, we're going to protect it. So typically what we do first is we cut a square pad, right? So you take a foam pad that was about square with a circle of a minute this middle, the size of the bruise. So it's going to be a donut around the bruise, because this bruise was right here. I'm going to create a square pad with a circle here so it's not in the bruise, and then a pad around it so it's going to dissipate any force. Sometimes if you're a sport like with like um, football, you take a plastic or a hard cover and put it on the outside. So you're going to have foam pad dispersing force and then hard plastic cover so that nothing's getting near to that bruise. Cover Does that make sense? Thing? So that it's going to be a hole cut in the middle. Yeah. So it's going to look, say for example the bruise is that size, yeah. it's going to be like that but a thin pad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to have a hole the size of the bruise. Don't you put that on? You can, put it, you can put it on the ankle. You can put it anywhere. You can put a donut, a donut pad anywhere to protect an area. So you put the area that you need to protect in the middle, and then you put the you just put the force around it. Okay. Now the wrap for the quad. Come here and lunge a little bit forward. Just lunge forward. Nope. Bend leg. Bend leg. There you go. Lunge forward. There you go. <laughs> so typically you'll see it right here. Your typical quad contusion, knee on knee, or knee on quad. What you're gonna do? And can you roll up your short? Did you do it up any higher? This one. Yeah. Yeah. This is a little bit long, so I'm going to end up with extra pieces. Is there a single <coughs> sensing mechanism? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him contract a little bit of his quad so it's not going to be too tight. Now, once the pad is nice in place, you can take a little bit of your pro wrap to secure it in place so it doesn't move. You can also, if you take your tough skin, so that spray, and you put it on first, the pad will actually stick to the spray and stay in position, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm going to start with my quadriceps wrap. So you're going to first start by going directly around once. Okay. Now remember the quad muscle has a fan-like appearance. I'm then going to come at a 45 degree angle, so the 45 degree angle, and around the quad. Okay. Then I'm going to come at another 45 degree angle and around the quad and come up a bit. Go at a 45 degree angle, can you see that 45 degree angle? Around the quad, and then come in another 45 degree angle, around the quad. See how I'm making my muscle? And then I'm gonna come at a 45 degree angle, go back around, 45 angle, back around. I have way too much here, I just said six, so. 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle, so this is going to help support the muscle, and I'm going to keep going up until I hit this point. Now put your hand up there for me. Then I'm going to typically use my elastic tape, because remember this is a muscle, and I'm going, this time I'm just going to lay it, go straight around, and put that on there. Feel it. Yes. Okay. Now, if this starts to slide on you, some tips that you can use to keep it up. You will not be required to do this for your exam, but for those of you who want to actually practice some tips of the tri tricks of the trade, you take a piece of tape like so, and oh. <laughs> and you roll it so that the um, sticky side is on the outside. Can I see your other leg for a second? All I do with the, out, with the sticky side on the outside, I'd stick it to his leg and that way it would have something to stick onto. Okay? So it won't move. Okay? Any questions on those three tape jobs? Four tape jobs. Alright. You now have...